Kanazawa! Yay! Hey guys, it's Chika. Today we are going to visit Kanazawa, a city that literally means gold marsh and is located right here along the Nihonkai or Sea of Japan in the Ishikawa Prefecture. It's about a two and a half hour bullet train ride from Tokyo, but with a colder, snowier winter, the four seasons are even more distinct. Okay. You guys ready for Japan trivia? So see these trees, and they've got ropes on them. What is that for? To hold up for the little mini ninjas to trade on the trees. <laughs> a plus for creativity. It's actually to hold up the branches so they don't break when the snow piles up on them. Obviously, don't video that time. Too late. Kanazawa is famous for its historical buildings, which still exist today in great condition because the area was never devastated by any bombings during the war and very fortunately hasn't experienced any major natural disasters. The area is also famous for its traditional crafts thanks to the Kaga clan, who were very rich and big on the arts. So for all these reasons, Kanazawa has been a very popular place to visit for quite some time now, but with the Hokuriku bullet train opening last year, it is now much easier and faster to visit this amazing city. We came to celebrate the one year anniversary of the bullet train and it was a huge deal. These ladies greeting us is just today. Oh really? Yeah. So they have this Japanese hotel here that's really really famous where ladies like this greet you at the door. We even got to see a special fireworks display from the train. It was so cool. But unfortunately, it was all just for that day. At least you got to see it through my video though, right? So right as you get to the station, there's already so much to see. The Kanazawa station is a tourist spot in itself. Yeah, I've been in like a lot of train stations, like the Grand Central, the one in <laughs> yeah, they Washington never look like DC, this. Yeah. and you know, a lot of places. And, yeah. and this is really nice and clean. Yeah. And it's really pretty. As you step out of the station, you walk under this glass dome made with 3,019 glass panels and 6,000 aluminum poles. This keeps you nice and dry in case of rain or snow, which is quite common in this area. This giant dome symbolizes someone holding out an umbrella for you, and is the very first gesture of hospitality you'll experience in Kanazawa. The wooden structure you see here is called the Tsuzumimon, or drum gate, and was inspired by a traditional Japanese hand drum called the Tsuzumi, used in a classical Japanese musical called No. This represents Kanazawa's love for the No arts that has been passed down through generations. This is gorgeous. Cool. This is a special theme train that you can ride in this area. Ugh, totally wish we would have ridden it. We're at Omicho Market. Right by the station is the Omicho Market, which you should definitely check out for a quick seafood snack. And we're gonna eat some sea urchin. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. This I'm is so exciting. <laughs> Sea urchin by the shell, sweet shrimp, oysters, and oh my gosh, this grilled eel, unagi, was so good. Expensive, but good. Mm. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Thanks, so nice. <laughs> and now we are heading to Kendokuen, which is a Japanese garden. Chokire! It's so beautiful. Kendokuen is famous for being one of the three most beautiful gardens in Japan. It was founded during the Edo period and maintained and perfected by the Kaga clan, that family that's really big into the arts that I told you about earlier. Look at the little duckies, so cute! Here you'll see the ropes on the trees again. Yes, where the little ninjas conduct their training. I guess they take down all the ropes in the warmer months, but I have to say, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool looking. Don't worry even if you're a little too early for the cherry blossom season because you still will get to see the plum blossoms which are really really pretty as well. They're a darker pink. I won't say I like them more than the cherry blossoms but I like them a lot. Next stop, the samurai house. There's Chloe and Tang getting a head start. Hi! <laughs> Trying to so vlog. Cool. So, so cool, so beautiful. Yeah. This is the remains of the Nomura residence, a famous samurai family during the Edo period. A classic Japanese house with a cozy porch looking out into the small but beautiful Japanese garden. If only they had a tea house here. We had to pretend. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. So right now we are in the Higashichaya district, which is a historical place 
uh, that has a bunch of old tea houses and all these traditional buildings which are really really cool. Chaya literally means tea house and it was in these tea houses that the geishas entertained the people with their dances and musical performances. So today we're going to be trying on kimonos. We visited the Kagayuzen Kimono Center to rent some kimonos and got our hair done at a nearby salon before going. All the dreams really come true in one day. <laughs> I want this one. Cool. Yeah. Totally recommend doing this. We took a ton of pictures. Thank you. <laughs> and we felt very special because there are a bunch of tourists taking pictures of I us. I know, we're like celebrities. So I cool. felt like we were on America's Next Top Model. I love how original and unique all the souvenirs are. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> As you might guess from the name, Kanazawa is famous for gold and you'll find tons of shiny souvenirs that'll make your eyes sparkle. Being a town famous for craftsmanship, all the souvenirs were so unique, so colorful, and very intricate. So be prepared to shop. <laughs> just you guys always shop this much? No. no. <laughs> I can't even close my bag anymore. Or make your own souvenir. There are lots of crafting classes to choose from, but we decided to go gold leafing. Tang decorated a coaster, Chloe a mirror, of course, and I made a set of chopsticks. Aren't they pretty? Right now we're gonna go eat sushi. We had sushi the first night. And an amazing course meal at the Ryokan, or Japanese hotel, the second night. What they both had in common? A delicious local fish called nodoguro, known as a black throat or rockfish in English. It is so good, meaty, buttery, flavorful. Oh, just wow. あの、日本に帰ったら食べたい魚としてお話ししたところ一気に広がったお魚の一つになりましたその前はそこまでではなかったですかそうですね地元の人がよく美味しいね出て食べてたお店が全国的に広がったのはその頃になりますはいありがと